Welcome back. At the end of the previous part, we had finally got Virch in the group, and a whole lot of scenes opened up. I did not expect this many to be here at this point. I was going to go off and recruit Blackheart. If we're going to do that in this part, I don't know. It depends how long these take. So anyway, a gamer's sense of money. Gust obtained a voucher code to download an online game demo for free. She immediately, just the demo? She immediately goes to sell it off to Greenheart. A demo? Lady Greenheart! Lady Greenheart! I hear something you might like. Oh, whatever could it be? I got free voucher code for Planetoon's MMO. Four goddesses online. Oh, 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 please do tell us more about this wondrous game. I, I wonder what it's like. Are you serious? I didn't win that, even though I applied 200 times. That's, that's not actually that bad for Vert, thinking about it. I was going to say it's quite excessive, but it's Vert, isn't it? Well, one application per address. Oh, come on, you, you don't think she knew that? She clearly changed the address. I changed the name and address each time. How did they know? You, you were probably just very, very unlucky. I'll sell it at good price if you want. You will? That's fantastic. How about 10,000? Is that all? 10,000 what? That's the thing, without an exchange rate, I don't really know if that's good or bad in this sentence because it's it's like I I can spend like 300,000 credits or whatever they're called in this on um a weapon so it's like 10,000 does not seem that bad 10,000 is it is that bad too expensive for goddess huh I guess it's silly to expect someone to agree to pay so much no, it's probably... It's Vert, though, isn't it? She, she'd pay a hell of a lot for a game. Such a bargain! Sold! A again, w without a, a cross-reference, I, I, I don't know if that is a bargain or not. Wow. All right, then. Yeah, she's quite the gamer. Quite the gamer. Right, so... What's next? Landmass info? Oh. Kichikumagane Harlem set for virgins. Of course. Greenheart's hotly anticipated package is finally delivered. However, the content information was clearly marked on the outside of the box. Oh. Well, you don't want that to happen. <laughs> the day has finally come. The fan-exclusive collector's set, Kichiku Megane Harlem set for virgins. There you go, that, that's how it's meant to be said. Comes with the game disc, drama CD, art book, and series anthology. Oh, I can't wait! Since I'm one of the first ten members, I get the VIP treatment. Which means... A special alarm clock with one of the actor's voices recorded to call my name. Yeah, that could be a bit disturbing, really, thinking about it. My day would be that much better, getting to hear such a handsome voice in the morning. Oh, isn't it here yet? Lady Greenheart, you have package. Uh-oh, Gust is going to be the one who read it. Oh, little Gust, did you deliver this for me? Yes. I'm registered under emergency contact as temporary delivery staff, so I do this sometimes. I was asked to deliver package to you. Content description is... Kichiku Megane Harlem set for virgins. Yes? Uh, oh. Lady Greenheart? Little Gust, please don't tell anyone about this. Especially Iffy. Anyone but her. But... What? Well, Alright then. She will be so disappointed in me if she learns I purchased an adult-only rated all-male item. 
Why? I, I don't see an issue with this, to be honest. I mean, I mean if you want to do that, and I, to all the women or, or men out there that want to do that, go ahead. Enjoy yourself. I don't see a problem with it. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Then give hush money. Oh dear, oh dear. You're a goddess, so I discount to 10% of package cost. Then, secret safe. Well, Gus does know how to make money. Uh, I can't believe I'm being taken advantage of. But it's a small price to pay if this prevents Iffy from being disappointed in me. This called easy money. Indeed. I miss Gust. I really do. Right, so, what we got next? Hopefully there's another Gust scene, because she's, she's just so fun. Lady Greenheart, are you okay? Nisa, oh, there we go, we got Nisa. We'll, we'll see how that works out instead. Nisa worries about Greenheart, who seems to be overworked from an online game addiction. Yes, yes, we know about that. However, compared to some, Nisa discovers the issue isn't nearly as bad as it could be. Lady Greenheart, are you okay? You're stumbling around a lot. You're either working or drinking too much. I'm fine. I played the MMO a bit too much and forgot to take a break. I'm so hot. You're one of the CPUs, too. How long did you end up playing? Right, here we go. We'll see if it matches with Cyber Dimension for those who have been watching that. Only about five hours yesterday. Sometimes I'll play around 150 hours per week. I'm not going to confirm or deny if that matches. I, I just want to point it out. That is referenced. 150 hours? You're not even sleeping for two hours each day! I'm still an amateur. A trained MMO veteran would play non-stop without sleep. For forever? Just out of curiosity, what do you do about meals? Oh, you just have like this like drip that goes into your arm, it's fine. I stockpile a week's worth of food in my room. In your room? Do you have a fridge or a freezer in there? When you gain weight, I think you should stop. Actually, no matter my eating habits, I don't gain an ounce. I wonder if it's because I'm a CPU. Well, based on what we found out that Nep does, she just goes into, like, her transformed state just to burn calories. I'm tremendously jealous. Yes, I, I think we all are. In some regard, at least. Right, so, what we got next? Let's have a look. Um, with respect, I decline. Nisa can't stop ogling Greenheart's ample bosom. In exchange for the secrets of Greenheart's breast growth, Nisa is offered a deal. Oh. I yes, may I help you, dear Nisa? They're ginormous. My breasts? How can I make mine plump up like yours? Why do they need to? When did they start to blossom and grow for you, my lady? My lady? Well, I think I was just born with them. We're a bit different from normal humans, understand? True. Oh, actually, I may have an idea why. What, really? <laughs> but I won't tell you for free. Let's see. If you play games with me for a week, I'll consider sharing my secret. I just have to play games for a week? I I mean, I'd honestly be like, well, we'll do that anyway. But all right. Sure. There's a guild raid in one week online to decide who's the top guild. Of course, mine will participate, but not everyone can play since they're busy with their real lives. Quitters. Quitters, yeah. I want you to raise a character who'll be the top tank for my guild. 
you're telling me to become an addict? Why, yes. That's what it'll take. I'll humbly decline that offer. I was gonna say, it's like, it's not worth it, Nisa. It's not worth it, especially because you don't need to have big breasts. You're fine how you are. I mean, you got a pretty backpack, dude. Right, on to the next scene. Right, what we got, what we got, what we got. Headed to Planetune. Greenheart is attempting to sneak out again and head to Planetune. What does she have in mind? That reminds me. I can't imagine you hanging out at an arcade. What sort of games do you play there? Everything. Rhythm games, fighting games, shooting games, crane games, racing games. Uh, uh, games. Yeah. I play metal games, too. The arcade actually keeps my coins in storage there. You really do play the field, huh? Do you have a favorite? Well, I've recently gotten a soft spot for simulation games. There's one where I sit inside a car-shaped booth and shoot giant mutant creatures. Or one where I sit inside a pod-shaped chair and control a giant robot to fight in battle with. Oh, and I've become a pro at the crane games. I've gotten so I can win prizes at least once per trip. Whoa, impressive. I've never seen an arcade in Leanbox with such a variety of games. Yes, odd that, isn't it? Nope. Planetune has them everywhere. What? That said, I'll return tomorrow night. Thanks for always letting me slip out. Yes, my lady. Wait, what? <laughs> I hope I'll just get scolded and nothing worse. I mean, who are you going to get scolded by? Like, your, your boss, like your head boss, is Greenheart. Why would she scold you? That makes no sense. Alright then, let's go on to the next event, which is Goddess's Guild, Guild, yeah, I got Guild from somewhere, Gift. Greenheart returns from her usual getaway. This time though, she has come back with an arm full of prizes. Hi, I've come back. Welcome back, Lady Greenheart. My, that's quite a killing you've brought home. I ended up playing the crane game a lot and won all the prizes. All of them? I didn't know crane games had prizes besides stuffed animals. They've got everything. Figures, pillows, snacks, electronic appliances. Elec- what? So like kettles? Some places have green algae as a prize too. It's tricky to pinch with the crane. Why would- Why would you want that as a prize? Sounds- Interesting. What's this square thing with an image on it? A mirror? What? What? What's this square thing with an image on it? A mirror. If it was a mirror, surely you'd know because it would look like you. This is a counterfeit prize. A mirror? I don't know which company produces it but it's using an image taken off the internet. Why, why would, what? I can't get it out of my head. Why would he think it was a mirror? A mirror? Of course, without the express consent of the original owner. A mirror? That's horrible. How, how much of an idiot are you that you don't understand what a mirror is? I can't believe buyers would agree to purchase products like this to put on their shelves. Anyway, enough of that prattling. I've got a gift for you. F for me? It's just a stuffed animal I won two of, but it's a thank you for letting me sneak off all the time. Yeah, he might be careful. He, he, he might suspect it's actually a mirror. Is it to your liking? Yes, I love mirrors that are stuffed animals. Thank you very much. This will be my family's prized heirloom. Okay. You're overreacting a little bit. Uh, did 
Did you not notice the mirror conversation he had? A mirror. It's like seeing a picture of someone and going like, is that a mirror? No. No, it's not. Unfortunate green heart. The normal routine. Check the blog, check the comments. But something was different about Greenheart's blog this time. Oh no. Oh, so many people have left comments. Let's see. Most of these are asking for more frequent updates. Every day. What am I, a robot? Sort of? As someone who runs a game walkthrough website, it's hard to update my blog every day, too. Indeed. Imagine trying to put out, say, like... Let's go as a random number I'm going to throw out here. Five videos a day. Try doing that. That's impossible. Anything else? That's a rather displeasing comment. Oh, dear. You, you, you don't want the displeasing comments. Wait. Well... I like to play with the displeasing ones. <laughs> I've got an idea. Before I delete it and ban their IP, I'll copy this comment and... Put it on Twitter. You know, there's been a lot of people saying that I'm a lot like Greenheart, look like Vert, or she's like me, or one or the other. Like, we got the, the love of tea, uh, the, the love of games. I, I wouldn't say necessarily the BL matches up but you know just saying but other than that like the the, the first two definitely but this it, this does seem to actually match me i won't ban the ip that's that's a bit too much but still i haven't checked recently but i have the other cpu's blog saved as favorites there they are i'll go to hers Oh, no, oh, well, I, I'm going to take back everything I've just said, because this seems a bit vindictive, almost. Paste the comment in the newest entry. Yeah, that, that's just harsh. Change it a little bit. Done. Why? Why would you... Why? <laughs> I wonder how she'll react. That's just cruel. Yeah, take it back. That's... No, I just post the person's comment on Twitter. And then people can laugh at it at their own own. I, I don't even know how to describe how different it is. It's just like that. That is so horrible. What she's just done. It's just oh, uh, the, the great game industry war. Okay, Greenheart has been locked away in her room for three days. Oh, of course, it's three days. When one of her servants goes to check on her, he is ordered to rally the troops for war. He probably misunderstood, didn't he? Lady Greenheart, you must come out and get some fresh air today. No answer. She's basically a corpse. Oh. <laughs> I won't stand for this insolence any longer. It's time to prepare for war. War, I say. Yep, it's... She's going to be talking about a game, and he's going to completely misunderstand. L Lady Greenheart? We shall instigate an all-out attack on those Planetune fools. Of course, I shall take the lead. So, please gather those with good tanking and aggro capabilities by tonight. There. Yeah, based on that, I am correct. I mean, I say I'm correct, like, like I'm the only one who figured this out. I think we all figured that out. He, he's the idiot right now. Y yes, my lady. I never expected the calm, reserved Lady Greenheart to rally the troops for battle. Yes, maybe there's something else going on. I thought she only had brains for games and anime. She's a true goddess after all. She's been governing the land carefully, under the guise of playing games. Yes, the guise of playing games. I should try to emulate her. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, it's technically illegal to emulate, so technically. It's a bit of a gray area. Lady Greenheart, your army is ready. With your command, we are ready to charge. 
I like the idea that he's like assembled an actual army. Oh, shush. What in the world is going on here? My lady, I have come to report we are ready to assault Planetune. Huh? Why would we desire such a thing? Why? That's what you told us to organize this morning, my lady. This morning? Oh, I think I understand the situation. I was playing an MMO this morning, silly. Huh? The Planetune players are getting too rowdy. They think they should get all the drops since the game's made in their land. Yeah, that, that is... Yes, wipe them out. Destroy them. We don't want such fools playing the game. So, players from other lands have been plotting a coup to teach them a lesson. Yes, yes, I'd, I'd be on board with this. I was certain you were talking about real life. Then, what should I do with the assembled army? Disassemble it? Good luck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. It's his own fault. Such an idiot. He's such an idiot. It's just like, what are you doing? Oh! Uh-oh. I was going to say, it looks like we're done. I'm assuming these aren't going to be anything, though. Enduring 99 years. Oh. Lyrica. It's strange to see that she's mentioned at all here. So anyway, Lyrica stumbles hazily out of Lady Greenheart's room. What happened? Yeah, I was going to say it's going to drop the voice acting because it's the DLC still. So sleepy. Lady Greenheart is tough to keep up with. Uh, I've stayed up all night writing songs, but never playing a board game. It's harder than I thought, staying up and doing things I'm not used to. My F was completely zoned out after the 50th turn. Hopefully it doesn't happen the next time we play. In any case, earning 100 million in two years is just abnormal. I was cursed with bad money. All right, bad money, luck? Okay. I was cursed with bad money luck the whole time, so I never got out of the red. I'm trying to do a sort of lethargic, by the way. Madame Boxgreen is a harsh... Harsh? Yeah, harsh mistress. Boxgreen. Is that going to be it? She wasn't... Hey... Greenheart wasn't even in the scenes. This is quite, quite weird. I don't want that one, do I? I want, oh, what is that anyway? King of Dragons over in Louis? Oh, we'll have a look at that eventually. Um, so beautiful gentleman. Red finally joins the party. Yeah, quite a while ago. She seems to get along with everyone, but one day she surprises IF with some sudden news. Husbandies? Question mark? Iffy, Lady Greenheart finally agreed to have me. Have you? What are you talking about? What'd she agree to? To marry me, of course. Oh, was there like a 10 minute rule or something? It's different. We already had a ceremony and everything. A ceremony? You're surely not talking about a wedding, are you? Yeah, a wedding. What else? We got married. Isn't that too soon? And what happened to all that wifey number one crap? You just move from person to person? Ooh, sounds like she's upset. Lady Greenheart's a boy, though. Liar. Nah, she's got a really cool character on Four Goddesses Online. Four Goddesses Online? W what is this game you speak of? I surely don't know what you mean. Yep, we got married in the game. Uh, oh, you're talking about a game. Good. I thought I was going to have to have a heart attack. Going to have to have a heart attack. All right. Lady Greenheart's a real gentleman. 
She shares her stamina when I am in danger and sends me rare equipment as gifts. Uh huh, that's nice. Where do you think we'll go on our honeymoon? A tropical island in the shape of a heart, maybe? Right, heart shaped island. Lady Greenheart's gonna wear a tux, and I'll be in a dress, and we'll have a sugary sweet time together. Talking about this stuff makes me miss her. I'm gonna go back to her room now. What? Hey, wait! What's with that? She, she looks like she's having fun, I guess. And you're not? I, I suppose? It does seem like if he was a bit jelly there. Right, so what else we got? Left for Red. As Red comes to enjoy her time with Lady Greenheart more and more, IF starts to act a bit strange. <laughs> that was awesome. You're in a good mood. Are you playing games with Lady Greenheart again? Yep, she's got so many. I never ever get bored in her room. I thought that was going to be the end of the scene then. I was going to be like, oh, okay. So what kind of game did you play today? A shooting game? She said it's an FPS or something. You hold this gun and shoot at bad guys. FPS? Guns? Was there a lot of blood? Oh yeah, buckets and buckets. Like a slimy, bloody hell. Red, you, do you remember seeing a letter in a black and white box on the game's package? Like E or T is the game's rating. Uh, do you remember what it had? Or maybe it was uh, the Peggy. It was an eem. I'm gonna have a chat with Lady Greenheart. Lots of question marks. Right, so. Have we got another red scene? That's the question. With Goddess. Red still works hard to earn charisma points, even after joining the party. She's planning something else to surprise IF. Iffy, I've got a present for you today. A present? Um, thanks. Uh, what's the occasion? I can't tell you. It's got nothing to do with me wanting to raise my charisma level, just so you know. Alright, thanks. I'll just accept your kind thoughts. That's all I need. Got to take the present too. Uh, you're way too mean. Yes, indeed. I had such a hard time finding it. Oh, that's red. I had such a hard time finding it. You like that one goddess, right? Right, I mean, I respect them all for protecting entire landmasses of their own. Meeting them in person really changed how I see them. Well, guess what? You can match that one goddess with this item. Ta-da! Oh, uh, there we go. Kichiku Megane Harlem set for virgins. What are you talking about? Why would any goddess own such a thing? Oh dear, that finally actually did come out. I'm not kidding, I found this in Lady Greenheart's room one day. I didn't know where to get it, but I finally found a copy on the interweb thing. Here you go. Thanks. She must have seen something else and mistook it for this. Uh, just like that blonde manju debacle. Yep, yep. 
Yeah, sure I have. Sh sure, th that's what it was. Dear, oh dear. Right, and this is explore. Online for dummies. Music activities take up most of Lyrica's life, but she's introduced to the world of gaming through a voucher code given by Lady Greenheart. Lady Greenheart gave me a voucher code for some game. Four goddesses online? It's so weird having that reference so much, considering what else we're doing on the channel. I've never played an online game. I don't know what I'm supposed to do after I log on. What do I say when someone talks to me? Where am I supposed to go? I know I'm supposed to meet her here. I, I wonder if Lady Greenheart will find me. Oh, Lyrica, were you waiting long? I'm sorry, it's Lady Greenheart. Hmm, I hope you'll be able to help me out today. There. She's using a male character. It's online, so I guess she can do whatever she wants. I wouldn't have even noticed her if her character weren't named XX Greenheart XX. Very different to the one we have later, isn't it, where it's got the crosses instead, rather than the X's. Huh? What's she doing behind that thingy? Do we want to know? Whoa, lots of potatoes and lemons. Lemons are valuable, so you should collect them while you can. Lady Greenheart. She's so nice, even online. Huh? Guild raid? I have no idea what that is. She invited me to something called a guild raid? Which is supposed to happen in three days, of course. Oh well, I'll sign back on around then. And you not, might need to do more leveling up than that. You really should think it over. Yes, indeed, fade out. Right, so what we got now? Nothing. Oh. Right then, so that's us done for this part. And in the next part, we'll be over in Atlas Station. So let me make that come over here. And I will have got the um, shares up for Blackheart. Well, for last station, so we can actually pick her up, and we'll probably have 50,000 scenes for her as well. So we'll see you then. Ta-da for now.